What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player guide breakdown review complete look at one of the best players that they have released for free, right? So if anyone doesn't know, you can get a free player nominating contract, a uh, five star nominating contract once you play 15 games in the match pass, right? So we are going to be taking a look at the ready for action back in the game uh, players. But as I said, all you have to do is go into this, um, into match pass over here. And you will see on the 15th uh, match that you play, it doesn't matter if it's offline, co-op, divisions, weekend showdown, anything at all, you will get a free five-star nominating contract, which is will enable us to uh, buy the player that we're looking at today, which is my top pick for, for it, right? Um, I definitely think he's worth it, and we're going to show you why in a minute, but there is a bit of training to be done with him if you want to make him, you know, go from being a beast to, like, meta, right? And to be one of the top five in the game, potentially, okay? So this is the new nominating contract you see here. We've already done a review on all of these and a breakdown of all of these, but we are going to be taking a look at Rinaldo. Rinaldo, right? So this guy is a defensive fullback. He's very similar to Tommy Yasu um, and his big time card, which is probably one of the top five, top three cards, I would say, center back in the game. Straight off the rip, you have interception, blocker, man marking, and of course, sliding tackle and fighting spirit. We will head over to eFootballDB in a second. The thing I don't like about this card um, is the fact that he doesn't have a wavering form. That's the only thing I don't like, but that's because of the, the live player update at the moment. You can see his rating is locked on C. But don't let that deter you, right? This guy for a five star is definitely going to be worth it, right? We're going to buy him here live um, on our account just to show you guys just how good he is, right? Now, I like this animation. It looks like Mount Doom or something. And anything Lord of the Rings reminds me of uh, um, is always good, right? But he starts off as an 80 overall left back, right? But he's got 35 levels, which is unbelievably big um, for a, a left back that can play central as well, right? You can see there that he plays CB. And that's going to be the killer on this card, really, um, if you're looking to turn him into kind of like a meta player, right? So we've got two builds of him. I'll get through it quite quickly, right? So the first build that we're going to take a look at is your typical left back, right? We're going to use everything that he has and we're just going to play the card straight up. We're not going to really mess around too much with additional skills. We don't need to spend too much time trying to get additional skills or extra GP. We all, we all know how to do that GP thing now where you pick the skill and the legacy transfer. If you haven't, I have a video for that. Just search for it or I'll leave a link in the description. But this guy is just your tr uh, traditional left back. Kind of reminds me of David Alaba. A little bit less uh, defensive, but more explosive. So he's got that pace at 89, balance at 80, 75 offensive awareness, 80 defensive awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, lofted pass, kick and power, jump, and physical contact, all in the 70s, and every other stat in the 80s. It's, it's an insane card, lads, especially when you throw in the fact that as a defensive full back, he's going to be less likely to roam forward. So it means that you can play kind of that 3-5-2 um, and play him left mid left wing like really advanced left back or else you can play him as part of a back four and realistically have like four center backs back there you can play your three cbs or else you can play a right back that is able to play defensive full back as well right if you want to use the play style the play style to me doesn't really matter as much as the skills and the stats and the way that the player id works um, but it is something to keep in mind, right? So as a center back here, you will see that his rating is only 89. We're going to take a look at a, a better option than him in a second, but there is the guide for that. You can't go wrong. If you're ever struggling with guides, lads, you can't really go wrong with the eight, um, the eight and the 12 mark, right? Don't go higher than 12 on any stat and then go to eight on most stats that you can go to, right? So that's just a little tip as well for any newcomers. But this is an incredible card as a left back. I really do think that this card could be an awesome card. As you said, we've already bought him um, we will play a couple of matches with him, but I've already played with him on my other profile. Um, but yeah, this is an insane card. But if I'm going to be looking at him, right? If I'm going to be taking him and I'm going to be, you know, like making him one of my main men on my squad, the thing that I'm going to be looking at is, does he compare to Tommy Yasu? And if I'm comparing him to Tommy Yasu, it means that I'm going to be looking at him in a central backs kind of role, like as a center back, right? Now, this is big time Tommy Yasu, just to compare him, who, in my opinion, is probably the best center back who's down as a right back. So you will see here that he's got a 92 overall rating on his card as a right back with this build. But look at his stats. Defense, 93, 98, 94, 97 with 80 speed, 80 acceleration and 90 jump, 80 header. 
85 physical contact and 85 stamina. Insane, right? When we go down here and actually look at his positional rating, it is going to be 100 as a center back. So that's why he's kind of like the top man uh, in my team that I'm going to be using, right? And uh, it's going to be difficult to kind of budge him out, right? Or to get him out. But this Renildo card or Renildo card is down as an 88 left back. But look at his rating as a centre back. It's 94. And the thing I like about this card, lads, is that he's free. You don't need to spin like for Tommy Asu or if he comes up again or any of the epics like Cannavaro or Cordoba. This guy is free. He's going to have a 365-day contract. And his stats are just absolutely incredible. Now, one thing I would say is that if you are looking to use him as a centre back... I would 100% recommend you put on a couple of additional skills, right? So you want to be putting on aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, and heading. All three will turn this guy into a meta beast. If you're able to only put on one or two, or if you're able to do the legacy transfer and pick and choose which ones you want on, um, I think that he could be a monster. Like, he will be a monster for you because of that 96 aggression, 98 defensive engagement, 91 tackling, and 91 defensive awareness. I mean, realistically, right, if you wanted to throw away a little bit um, of caution to the wind and say, right, I, I actually play, I'm a fairly good defender. If you think you, if you're, if this is you thinking this, that you're a fairly good defender and you can actually, um, if you can actually, you know, defend quite well, you don't even need to go fully on to, uh, speed and acceleration because if you're going to be sitting in back as a deep center back right you don't need 80 and 80 in speed and acceleration the stamina is more than good enough at that and his balance and his offensive awareness are perfect at that you don't really need that if you're going to be sitting in back as a center back right and you could actually pop on one more in to turn his aggression up or else you could even go with a, a little bit more into the aerial strength and the goalkeeper to get the jump up to 89 but i do definitely think that using this guy the way that i have built him up the first time is the way to go you know i think it's definitely the way to go with him um if you can go that route at all i would go that route with 80 and 80 and i think that's the best build of him but as i said if you just wanted to keep an even more um defensive player or you wanted to make him a little bit more defensive you could do that if you are a little bit worried about his aerial superiority or anything like that if you don't have the player skills but yeah, look, I mean, as I said, Tamiyasu is the main man. I think if it was in my squad, I'm going to be probably playing uh, Reinildo in that position that Tamiyasu usually plays. Now, this is my main squad, but uh, we'd be messing around with different squads or whatever. But in my main squad here, if I'm going to be playing with him, right, as my main, Tamiyasu is always, 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 always playing in this squad. And if I was going to be playing Reinildo in this, I'm probably going to be playing him in a position that... He doesn't really need to do everything um, like perfect, but he's able to play on that left sided. He is obviously left footed as well. So I would definitely link him in there and then have your back three. And then you're able to have that, you know, consistency that if Tommy Yasu isn't up or if Tommy Yasu isn't able to play, uh, if he's down form, I can throw in Reinaldo and it's kind of like for like. Obviously, he's not as tall as Tommy Yasu, but I definitely think he's going to be OP. I will be back with some clips of him. But yeah, you don't even need to see clips, lads, of him. Trust me, he will be an absolute monster. I played it in my, in my other profile, and he's insane. So I won't steer you wrong with this guy. He's definitely worth a, a free five-star spin, and uh, use one of the nominating contracts. So that is it for me. I'll be back in later. Peace.